So this is a soap for part of March's Soap Challenge Club. It's called Porcelain Painting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a base layer here. And um, I, I want my base layer to look like fluffy clouds, like blue sky and some white wispy clouds through it. Not fluffy, but wispy. And so I'm going to mix these colors up and I'm going to get them into my little, um, it's called a slab mold. I just have a little tiny one. It's not how I usually make soaps for selling, but this is a great little mold for experimenting and perfect for this little project. So I'm going to go ahead and get these poured into this little slab mold here. A lot of good that did me I had to I forgot to add the fragrance oil so here I am adding this fragrance oil and trying to get it mixed in really well um, so there goes my white wispy clouds but anyway that's fine I am using lilac blossom and I'm using it because it's a smell that for I don't know why but it reminds me of my childhood a little bit so um, I'm using that in this soap Okay, so here I am mixing up the canvas that goes on top of the base layer. Um, this is tricky. It needs to set up slightly, but it still needs to be fluid so that when I do the painting portion of it, the painting will kind of settle into the canvas a little bit. It's not going to settle all the way in, but it will settle in a little bit. So I'm going to speed up the next portion of the video. I am going to be mixing eight different colors to be used as painting on top of this canvas. Um, it actually took in real time 19 minutes, which is kind of long. Uh, you don't want this to set at all. You want it to be very fluid, not like soap frosting at all, but um, more like, I don't even know what to describe it as, kind of like for cookie frosting. my drawing at the beginning of this video and that's definitely not a traditional porcelain pattern. I wanted to do something a little more modern and the rules of the challenge were to do a porcelain pattern, something you would see on ceramic or something you'd see on pottery. And I know a lot of you pottery designers are doing more modern things on your pottery and that's kind of what I wanted to do for this challenge. So maybe I will go back another time because this was kind of fun and I will do a, a more traditional porcelain painting with flowers and, and a repeating design or something of that nature.
Okay, so I gotta get all eight of these colors in these small piping bags. You do not cut off the ends until we're ready to use them. And I'm going to get them all in as quick as I can because I don't want this to firm up on me. I am not going to show you me filling each of these bags up. That would be redundant. And I'll just show you this one, how it's done, and then I'll show you the end, having all of them together, and then we'll go from there. I will say a little pro tip. These little clips that I use, um, they are from Ikea. And I use them both when I put a piping tip in so that they don't the color doesn't come out on that end before it's ready and also for this application it worked well too to close up the other end when it was so runny so this is my color palette this is my canvas and it's it's ready it's time to start okay and pray for steady hands. So I wanted to see if I could actually trace my design in here, but the canvas is just as it should be, and it's a little too fluid to hold any sort of tracing. So that's good. So I imagine this is kind of like what it is like to decorate cookies a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a bit of an outline and then I'm going to try to use a technique called flooding to fill in the gaps. We'll see how that'll go. Of course, it's not the, quite the same as royal icing or an icing that you would use. It's a little, definitely more, a little more challenging, um, but still it's fun. It's fun to try a new skill. wondering why I chose to do a VW um, van or bus, however you want to call them. Uh, or you, maybe you're not wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So when I was growing up, my grandparents always had, it seems to me at least, that they always had a VW van. I can remember a couple of different ones, at least. And even my family at one point, we had a cute little blue VW van. So just kind of a re reminiscent going with that theme of childhood with the scent and um, this as well. And I just also I'll do you'll see later I'm going to be doing a peace sign. That's also very much my my grandma on my paternal side um, was very much into those kinds of, of things. So I just thought I would do a little tribute to them and also wanted to add the tree just because I love the colors of fall leaves and I thought that would be fun to try to do like the porcelain painting with the different colors so that's why I added the tree element in as well and um, my at my grandparents house there was actually a couple of big trees one in which we had a big treehouse fort in it that we built and played in quite often. Also, I know that this sign here with the little V in the middle is not really the label for a VW bug, but my son reminds me 
that I have to be careful of infringing on, um, I guess, copyright or uh, just logos in general. So I did a little V instead of the VW. 